We do. We've got a bit of a mystery bird, and I'm not too sure what it's busy eating. I thought it might have been a hare, but now I don't know if it actually looks more like a... No, the pot looked like hair like to me. Hair -like to me. So I'm going to go with scrub hair. Unfortunately, somebody met its end at those very fierce talons of this particular eagle that we've got around here. So <laughs> we have narrowed it down to eagle. Now the debate starts because some of the other guides here were saying that they believe that this is a an African harrier hawk. Or, sorry, an African hawk eagle. But I'm not too sure if perhaps we're actually looking at a Wahlberg's eagle. So why don't you guys send us through your comments as to what we think this is, this particular mystery bird, using the hashtag Safari Live. It'll be quite interesting because whoever it is, it's in that funny stage of birds where they're still immature, getting their full colors, their full adult colors, and it makes it complicated to try and actually find out what they are. So... I'm inclined to say Wahlberg's eagle just by looking at the beak and just by looking at the book, but who knows, maybe somebody else has a bit of more information, more photographs of these youngsters. Now, it's been perching on this tree, holding on to its skill, looking very real at everything around here, and I think it's probably been a bad day for, <laughs> for tiny little creatures that have been lurking around, because the eagles are back, and they're happy. And look how it's holding on. You can see those talons very, very clearly. It's actually quite a stunning view of this particular eagle, whatever it is that you want to be. You look very... Oh, I wouldn't mess with you in those talons, I can tell you that much. And there was a squirrel that was alarming earlier on, going crazy looking at this particular eagle around here. And now it started looking in all directions, so I wonder if it's actually not going to try and, and move. Hmm. I think we might... This is a bit of a mystery. Now I wonder what Tristan is going to say. I'm going to put my money on Pale Morph Wahlberg's Eagle. Likely, knowing my luck with birds, I'll be wrong, but <laughs> I have looked at the book and that's what I think it is. Because birds always have a way of confusing me. Because obviously the minute you start looking at them, everything starts going around. Kate, you say that at least it's got beautiful colors. I agree with you, it's quite stunning. It's in that funny phase where it's got all the well, not all the colors, I don't think I can say that, but it's looking very funny. Very beautiful. And it's so nice that there's such a nice drop in the background. All we need is for it to turn its head again. Hello. And then we'll be able to start seeing it again. Yeah, African hog eagle, I don't know. I feel like an African hog eagle might have more spots on its chest. But this one has got a few, so it could definitely be. Hmm. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and fly, that might make it a little bit easier for us. I think maybe I'm just asking for too much. He's being a bit shy, watching its back. Being shy, looking away. Sorry, Megan, can you repeat that comment? Popo and Alexander, you both say that it's probably a hawk eagle. I think that's... Oh, it's a tough call, but it does look like a hawk eagle, but I would expect a hawk eagle to have a lot more black on top of its head. That's why I'm getting a bit confused. So, hmm, maybe it's still getting it and it's just confusing me for the time being. But there's another, another reason why I would like to call it a hawk eagle. It's just because of all the spots in its chest. All of those tiny little arrows that we see there that are very characteristic of the of the hawk eagle. So we'll see. It's the beak, to be honest, that is confusing me because it looks very Wahlbergy to me. It would be so much easier if they could just speak to us and let us know what they are. <laughs> now, if we have a look at the book just in the meantime while it doesn't fly away, and you please, eagle, stay there until we decide what you are. Now, if we look all the way here, this is what the hawk eagles look like in the book. Now, this one over here. So you see it's got a lot more dark in its head, but it's still black and white. And then if we... and so it would morph from this to this. So it could be that it's still getting all of its colors. And then if we see around here, then this is the way it should look. So there should be a lot more spots around on its chest. So this is another thing that's 
turning out to be a bit puzzling. I don't know if maybe it's changing from one color to the other or perhaps it is starting to get into this, which is very, very possible. And it's about, in theory, to be 60 to 68 centimeters according to the book. Now, hmm, I think 60 is about pushing it. Now, the Wahlberg's Eagle, this one over here, the Pale Morph, also, it's got more white on top of its, uh, sorry, more white all around its chest and then just a little bit of black on the top here. Very beautiful white legs. Oh, that was probably the thing, the feature to look at. And now, and uh, then over here, sorry, he just twisted around so I wanted to have a look. Also has got some little spots all around its chest. So, I think it makes it quite interesting to try and figure out who this is. Now, let's go back. Hmm. Very interesting. Heather, you're wondering what the difference between hawks and eagles is. Well, it's a, they're all bird of prey, so they are all characterized by their talons, but I would imagine that genetically, woo, the camera wanted to go away, and so did the bird. No, come back. So it's a difference of mainly size and areas where they where they live, I would suppose. Now this one has abandoned us and it took the keel with it. So hopefully we'll rely on some nice screenshots to try and figure out who it is. Tristan from FC wants to throw a <laughs> wheel in the spanner and now he thinks it's something else. All right, let me find it in the book for you. He says it's a juvenile booted eagle. Now we're all just throwing names in there, I think. This is turning out to be very confusing. But uh, Tristan knows more birders than what I do, so hopefully he'll be able to... Booted Eagle. Hmm, I don't know, Tristan. I don't know. I don't fully agree with the Booted Eagle mystery because there's obviously clearly a pale morph. Now we're going into the very, very rare creatures, but there's a bit of brown around this area, around the neck. So I don't know if this one has enough brown. I didn't see any brown on its head or on its neck when it was around here, so hmm. Could be, I don't know, more tempted to, to stick around with our options just because of the colors that we saw, because there was definitely none of this. But, I suppose we're gonna have to leave this beautiful one just because it flew away and we'll keep it as a mystery for later on to do, go and double check all of our bird books and see what offers the best, <laughs> the best view. But while we do that, I think that James has got also some white and black creatures that are also playing around. <laughs> 